Come, Nerevar, come, we have much to discuss. Why do you keep calling me Nerevar? Also, I invited you here today. Sorry, force of habit. Vorin, when's the last time you saw him? Where did he go? I heard he was off in Akavir someplace. It wouldn't hurt if he called now and then. Anyway, what did you need, Vampire Enwa? I have much to do, harnessing the heart and whatnot. Get on with it. Actually, I asked you here because another... acquaintance of mine wanted to go another round with you. Maybe he's warming up to the idea that certain elves aren't so bad. Greetings, knife ears. May he be not. This f guy. I have a matter that needed settling amongst my men. Morahouse seems to think Khajiit are merely beasts, and given his proclivities, I don't blame his soft heart on the matter. In my day, I took them as dirty elves like yourself. How dare you lump me in with a race made entirely of farm tools? I'd expect that of a mongrel dog Enwa such as yourself. All I'm saying is, they're not men. They have pointy knife ears. And according to their legends, they were taken from the same stock as the dirty wood elves. I wouldn't expect a brute such as you to understand, but if you go far back enough, all of us supposedly come from the same stock, the Elnofe. But you're a buffoon, Enwa. What did you call me? What the hell is an Enwa? An Enwa is an Enwa. Anyway, does this look like an elf to you, Enwa? Are you blind? Is that helmet blocking your eyes entirely? This is obviously a farm tool. Is that not just a tiger? Wrong again, Enwa. That's a palmer. There are like 20 kinds of Khajiit. Try and keep up. 20? So many more knife ears to exterminate. If this is Khajiit and this is Khajiit, both are equal to knife ears. <sighs> hey, if you want to exterminate them, go right ahead. But they're not damned elves. You're an Enwa. Mora House is an Enwa. Alicia was an Enwa. And you know what? Huma was an Enwa. What did you just say? You take that back or I'll kill you. You're a brute given power by false gods. I am a true god. How could you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. Have it your way, knife ears. Cue my music. Boys, boys. We're here to discuss Khajiit, not to exterminate. Please, have some self-control. He started it. Well, you should end it. You're a knight. Isn't patience one of your tenets? Anyway, the point I was making before I was rudely interrupted by this Enwa is just because two creatures look similar doesn't mean they're the same. Toads look like they could be reptiles, but they're not. Mare and men look vaguely the same. Do you think men and mare are the same? No, I do not. Then we are in agreement for once. Khajiit look like men or mer, but I don't even think they're true beastmen. Who the hell knows? Azura clearly doesn't know what she's doing. I do know that like the Argonians, they are farm tools. And actually, it doesn't even matter. Whatever other mer may exist, the Dunmer are always superior. Even if the Khajiit are mer, I have no qualms using them as farm tools. Alicia was a farm tool before she rebelled. Does that piss you off, Starman? To be honest, not as much as the Huma crack. How would you feel if I talked about Nerevar like that? He can speak for himself since he's still alive. Besides, we're just friends. Best friends forever between two immortals. I have nothing to hide. Oh, come now, surely you jest. Sweet, sweet Nerevar. Come and touch the heart. Come to this place where destiny is made. Sweet, sweet Nerevar. I love you, sweet Nerevar. Serana, would you be mad if I kicked this Enwa's ass? Wait, I don't need permission. I'm a f***ing god. So you say. But if I take the heart of Lorcan away, you're just a shriveled up weirdo in a mask who has a harden for the hero who killed you. All right, that's it. Cue my damned music. Welcome, Moon and Star. Come to me through fire and war. Guys, would you two stop? We came here to debate, not have a dance battle. Even his theme music is about Nerevar. Gods, man, stop lying to yourself. Like I said, I don't have to explain myself. Stop. So what's the verdict? Nobody's mentioned that the Khajiit can reproduce with Mare. Well, so can men and Mare. Adds to the credence of my theory that Azura just threw a bunch of parts into a basket, a little Diedrich magic, and stirred it up and boom. We got a race of farm tools. I mean, she doesn't even seem to care about her chosen race being enslaved by the Dunmer. If that's not proof, I don't know what is. The whole Khajiit concept Makes about as much sense as changing all our skin to ash when a few stupid individuals harnessed Lorcan's heart. I say stupid because they didn't do it well, but at its core, it's what Lorcan wanted. For us all to be gods in the end. Wait, I thought all elves wanted to claw back their lost divinity, not find new divinity. See, that's where overgeneralization will do you disservice. That's the Altmer. Most the rest of us, even the Bosmer, have at least a little bit of sense. That time when all men and Mer were godlike has passed. 
Lorcan wanted everyone to find their own godhood and make the most of the gift of Nern. It just so happens the Dunmer found their way much faster than every other race on Tamriel. Need I remind you we're superior? And me, the true god in this Kalpa, did it right. Hmm. You've given me much to think about, Knife Ears. Perhaps I will stay my blade this day so I can hear more of your sermons. Of course, and you should raise your thumb and write on the parchment below while you're at it. By the way, what you did with the Aeliad, they absolutely deserved it. They were a monstrous people who practiced things like flesh crafting. Say what you want about mongrel dog humans. You are as much of an Enwa as an Altmer and Bosmer. History has shown if you put humans in chains and mass, they'll absolutely burst out of that imprisonment in the most violent way possible. That almost sounds like grudging respect. Yeah, well, you're still an Enwa. And back to the matter at hand, Khajiits, and for that matter, Argonians just accept being farm tools, but not humans. That's all I'm saying. Azura's cruel joke. And you're still a knife-eared bastard. Maybe we have a few things in common. I guess I don't want to murder you immediately like an alien. By the, um, me, I guess. Are you still on about that? Pelinol, do you actually look like that under that helm? Well, yes. You're kind of beautiful. All right, okay, we're going off the rails now. Like I said before, don't forget to write on the parchment below. I'm getting the hell out of here. This isn't over, Knife Ears. Well, that's the debate, I guess. Did we resolve the issue? I'm not really sure. What I got was, the Khajiit may or may not be myrrh, because they can reproduce with myrrh, but so can men. According to Dagoth, it doesn't matter because all non dunmer are either Enwas or farm tools. We might have changed Pelinol's mind about wholesale slaughtering the Khajiit, but he was unclear on that. Perhaps not during a brutal war, or in the midst of a murderous rage about Huna, he wouldn't just kill all pointy-eared things. He was created for the purpose of killing elves. But people change. Wait, if Akatosh came to Elysia, did he send Pelinol? But isn't Akatosh Oriel? He's their chief god. Why would he send an unstoppable elf-killing machine? Maybe he disagreed with how their civilization was going. Or did Kine send Pelinol? Who is Pelilal's patron? Does this call into question the concept of the divines that was presented by Alicia? I think this needs to be a discussion. Well, this debate might have been a failure, but uh, join us next time. Thank you for watching this debate. If you want to see me and Pelinal argue more, please write part two on the parchment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my sermons and to Enraged Bard, the Enwa that cast a spell to preserve this debate in history. I would also like to acknowledge our patrons, Connor Runda. Once again, thank you for honoring the Sixth House and the Tribe Unmourned.